Hello, my name is Thomas, and I'm an environmental specialist for the Yurok Tribe Environmental Program. The interactive map within YTEP's data exchange portal is the heart of comms data sharing capabilities. To access and view the map, select Map from the left panel on the portal's welcome page. All data within comms database can be accessed here. Upon opening the map, users will see satellite imagery of the Lower Klamath River Basin along with YTEP and USGS monitoring locations displayed as different colored points. Additionally, spatial data can be turned on and off by checking the boxes within the legends on the right panel in map view. Spatial data includes images and documents added to regions and watersheds as attachments, the Yurok Stream Network dataset, the National Hydrography dataset, parcels and boundaries within and adjacent to Yurok territory, road access, and other helpful information, including COVID-19 cases by county, active wildfire locations, and burned perimeters, as well as NOAA precipitation forecasts. Additional information can be accessed by opening the spatial data attribute tables. For example, if I select and turn on the um, the active wildfire burned acreage layer here. Additional information including acreage is burned, locations, containment, personnel, and other helpful information can be viewed within the attribute tables by selecting the features within displayed spatial data. So for example, I will select one of the features here for the monument fire, the attribute table will open, and I can view all the pertinent information within these tables. Additionally, images and documents are included as attachments within the images and documents legend on the right panel. So first I will turn off the active wildfire perimeter layer and the images and documents layers are open. And in the same context, in order to open and access these attachments, select the features that you're interested in, the attribute table will open and you'll be able to view and access the images within each of those features. Please keep in mind that these are very large data sets and some of which require a sufficient amount of time for the layers to load and display properly within the map view. However, if an issue persists and some of these layers don't display properly, feel free to contact YTEP support staff all that contact information can be found within comms welcome page.